We're asked to multiply 5 6 times 2 thirds and then simplify our answer. So let's just multiply these two numbers. So we have 5 over 6 times 2 over 3. Now when you're multiplying fractions, it's actually a pretty straightforward process. You just multiply the new numerator, the numerator of the product, is just the product of the, the two numerators. Or your new top number is the product of the other two top numbers. So our new the, the numerator in our product is just 5 times 2. So it's equal to 5 times 2 over 6 times 3. Over 6 times 3, which is equal to 5 times 2 is 10, and 6 times 3 is 18. So it's equal to 10 18 And you could view this as either 2 thirds of 5 6 or 5 6 of 2 thirds, depending on how you want to think about it. And this is a right answer. It is 10 18 But when you look at these two numbers, you immediately, or you might immediately see that they, they share some common factors. They're both divisible by 2. So if we wanted in the lowest terms, we want to divide them both by 2. So divide 10 by 2, divide 18 by 2. And you get 10 divided by 2 is 5. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Now, you could have essentially done this step earlier on. You could have done it actually before we did the multiplication. You could have done it over here. You could have said, well, I have a 2 in the numerator, and I have something divisible by 2 in the denominator. So let me divide the numerator by 2, and this becomes a 1. Let me divide the denominator by 2, and this becomes a 3. And then you have 5 times 1 is 5, and 3 times 3 is 9. So it's really the same thing we did right here. We just did it before we actually took the product. You could actually do it right here. So if you did it right over here, you'd say, well, look, these are eventually going 6 times 3 is eventually going to be the denominator. 5 times 2 is eventually going to be the, nom the, the numerator. So let's divide the numerator by 2. So this will become a 1. Let's divide the denominator by 2. This is divisible by 2, so that'll become a 3. And it'll become 5 times 1 is 5. And 3 times 3 is 9. So either way you do it, it'll work. If you do it this way, it kind of you get to see the fact things factored out a little bit more. So it's usually easier to recognize what's divisible by what. Or you could do it at the end and put things in lowest terms.